Imposing masses of enigma float in vast space, a subject that has always left us with unanswered questions. However, the time has finally come for a radical change. The James Webb Telescope shows us what lies inside these towering masses of enigma, also known as black holes. Join us to the far reaches of this black hole to learn more about what's inside. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news about the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel, be sure to like this video, share it so it reaches more people, and turn on the notification bell. It all started in 1916 with Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity, who was the first to predict the existence of these entities. Although the term black hole was officially coined 50 years later, some scientists already believed in Einstein's theory while others dismissed it. It was in the late 1960s when researchers were studying the constellation Cygnus X1 that they noticed something amazing. A strange bright blue star was emitting x-rays, revealing that it was no ordinary star. This blue star was orbiting around something giant and dark. Upon further investigation, it was discovered that the x-rays were not moving on their own, but were attracted to the mysterious entity that the star was orbiting. Whatever was at the center of that orbit turned out to be a powerful force that consumed everything around it. At that point, science gained official evidence that black holes were a reality, but little did they know that things were about to get even more extraordinary. The initial discovery of Cygnus X1 turned into a series of additional discoveries before it was discovered that there could be approximately 100 million black holes in our Milky Way galaxy alone. However, due to their incredible difficulty to be detected, we still do not have an accurate and precise number. According to current estimates, this number is in the several millions, which makes them even more important objects of study. According to most physicists around the world, a black hole is an entity where anything that enters it is compressed astronomically until it becomes a singularity, to simplify it into simpler words. They have explained that due to the way black holes work, if someone were to fall into one, they would stretch like spaghetti, slowly dying in this form before reaching the final spaghetti form. And this is one of the scariest parts of the research done on black holes, and is also what makes everyone want to know all the details. Although the closest black hole to Earth is 1500 light years away, this information still raises the question of whether black holes can actually swallow the Earth whole. In 2021, scientists managed to publish the first clear photograph of a black hole, specifically the black hole M87. The black hole was photographed for several nights in a row, and with each image, researchers collected more and more evidence about it, revealing the existence of three fundamental layers in its structure. That's right, a black hole is not just a lone hole in the void. To delve into the depths of its mystery, you need to understand the first two layers. Let's break it down. First, there is the outer event horizon, a boundary that surrounds the mouth of every black hole. Once something reaches this point of the black hole, it cannot escape and is either trapped there or is pulled deeper on its journey to the singularity. The singularity, on the other hand, is the central core of the black hole, where gravity is so intense and constant that literally nothing can get out of there. To escape, something will have to travel at a speed much faster than the speed of light which has so far proven impossible. It is important to note that gravity on Earth works differently. If it were similar to black hole gravity, we would not be able to survive the way we do once we have crossed the event horizon. We have in front of us black holes, the great ultimate enigma, the singularity. This is the point at which most of the mass of the black hole is concentrated, where everything is compressed to become practically nothing. Physics as we know it stops working inside black holes, both on Earth and in most of the space we have explored. It is absolute chaos, and the worst part is that each black hole is unique, with a different gravitational force and attraction. You could gain complete knowledge about one black hole, only to have to start from scratch when you explore another. It's like a never-ending puzzle. The problem is that scientists cannot study black holes in the same way they study stars or other planets. They can't just look at the radiation they emit, along with the dust and gas that surrounds them. They cannot send something like the Voyager probe into the interior of a black hole, since, as we have previously established, it would be crushed in when it reached the singularity. 
Simply put, our only option is to study these massively powerful phenomena in space in two dimensions, since we cannot get close to them. The fact is that so far, we have not been able to get inside the singularity to really find out what it is, because as we have established, it is practically impossible to travel faster than the speed of light. However, this does not mean that the scientists who have been studying these giant masses of mystery do not have their own theories. They have numerous theories about what could be inside a black hole other than the singularity. One of the most plausible theories is that black holes are not simply masses of nothingness, but that beyond the event horizons and the beginning of the singularity, there could be something else. This theory suggests that black holes could be like doors, but we don't mean a door leading to a common place. We're talking about the possibility of traveling between galaxies and universes through them. Another interesting theory posits that black holes could be a glitch in the matrix, using this metaphorical reference. If we could develop technology capable of faster than light travel, we could open our way through one of these black holes and explore what lies on the other side. However, these theories are still in the realm of speculation, and scientific exploration continues in search of more concrete answers. It is possible that the singularity is not simply a void, but a wormhole leading to another galaxy. It would be a shortcut in interstellar travel, something we never thought possible. This idea raises the possibility that we might not be limited to exploring only the planets in our own solar system. We could look for ways to traverse these black holes and reach the galaxies they take us to. If this turns out to be true, it would mean that limitations once assumed to be insurmountable might not be as impossible as previously thought. At the opposite end of the spectrum of theories, we find one that rejects the existence of black holes altogether. Tokyo-based scientist Enrico Rinaldi and his team have been trying to make sense of these phenomena, despite how strange they seem. They've come up with a simple theory that explains all of this madness. According to this theory, black holes are simply holograms. Now, holograms as we know them are holographic images created through technology. But here, not all holograms are the same. Any visual discrepancy or illusion can be considered a hologram as well. And when we're talking about the vast abyss of space, anything is possible. What do you think? Let us know in the comment box. If you liked the video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.